There are so many scary things regarding sex. I never want to have sex ever again. Today, we are going to play True or False STD Facts Edition. I feel like my STD knowledge should be good because of how frequently I'm Googling, but I feel like when it actually comes down to it, I know nothing. I took a gender women's health class in college, so I feel like I've um, accrued some solid knowledge from there. I did superbly well in high school uh, health class, sex education. I'm a big WebMD fiend, so mm -hmm. I'm always looking shit up. I pretty much <laughs> was so scared of getting an STD and then the whole blue waffle phase. I don't even know what that is. It's just one of these urban legends where someone got all the STDs at once. Oh my God. And pretty much their genitals <laughs> would just explode. I think we're, I'm, I'm confident in our I'm ability. feeling pretty ready. You can contract an STD through mutual masturbation. That's, I don't. If that's true, Lucifer's in this earth. But you're not touching one another. Let's just go with that. Not no, mu scene. mutual masturbation is when like you're jacking somebody off and somebody's jacking you off. <laughs> if my hands are there and their hands are here and they're jiggling their hands, I'm jiggling my hands, we're gonna get an STD? I don't think so. I do not think that's true. I'm gonna true. say false. I say true. I'm doing false. So, true. What? How? Ow! How? You can get it on your hand? I think it's probably rare, but I think it's probably. Yeah, yeah. it probably depends on how crazy your STD is. Everybody just gets into like a very weird glove fetish. Kinky. Hepatitis contracted as an STD is the number three cause of liver cancer. I don't know that it can cause liver cancer though, can it? I feel like everything can cause liver cancer. That's true, <laughs> we're all getting cancer and we're all getting Alzheimer's disease at least. Cause I think like one is like, if you do it through like intravenously and then one is like an STD. Like this stuff I know because I've Googled this a lot. Well, this seems scary, so I'm gonna say true. Are you gonna say false? Okay, I'm gonna say true. True, true. The number one the cause? That's terrifying. I just got goosebumps. Oh. Wear condoms. Yep, at least. I guess a lot of stuff impacts your liver. You gotta be, gotta take care of that, yeah. buddy, down there. The majority of people with genital herpes know they have the infection. I think that that's absolutely false because like a lot of people go around with genital herpes and don't know they have it because they don't necessarily have outbreaks. You can be asymptomatic, I yeah. think, with having herpes, which is like terrifying because like you could be sleeping with someone who's like, hey, like I have herpes, but I'm lucky, I don't have symptoms, right. and then you can still get it. Yeah, let's that's go with. False. Oh, false. 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 Uh, that sucks. At the end of the day, things happen. But with herpes, I believe you can live a normal life. You can life live a life. normal life, you just take medication. Around 40 million young Americans have HPV right now. I think that's probably true. I think it's probably true as well. That sounds true to me. That sounds accurate. HPV is very common. And there's many strands of HPV. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with true. I'm gonna go with true. I'm gonna go with true. true. I have no idea about numbers though, so I'm, I'm gonna say true because it seems like a large amount and it could be valid. I'm gonna say true also, but if it's false, I feel like it could be even higher. My caveat was right, so. Brilliant. So it's basically almost double what this said that seems logical, which is crazy. Just like, Very get fun. your pap smears, y'all, and then I don't know what you have to do. Yeah. There is a shot for men, there is. actually. Yeah. They just don't get it, so like, yeah. please do that. Get the shot. Just f just f do it. Scabies, a parasitic infection caused by the human itch mite, can be considered an STD in some cases since it can be transferred via sexual activity. I yeah, believe. Yeah, I, I believe that, yeah. If they're in your pubic region, they can get to somebody else's pubic region if you're putting them together, much like pubic life. Can you consider that though an STD? It's sexually transmitted because you had sexual contact to transmit it. You catch the flu from someone because you hook up with them, like does that mean the flu is considered like an STI, mm. you know? Yeah. I'm gonna say false, it doesn't feel right. False. True. That. But it's also because I used to always hear about this on the real world and stuff like that, and I used scabies? to always get- Yeah, I felt like that was a thing I heard. They had scabies on the real I feel like I've heard world. that on the real world. <laughs> I just, it feels like it's not sexual, but I, I guess mean, it is. Poor dental hygiene may affect your likelihood of getting an STD from performing oral sex. I'm gonna go true. There's so much bacteria in your mouth. I'm just gonna go with true. I'll go true, because if you got a hole in your tooth and then yeah, I mean, you gotta bacteria. pull up, you know, a little goop goop in there. Ew! I 
feel like that's not true. I'm gonna go with false. If you already have a gross mouth, somebody's got a gross Jennies <laughs> down there, then like, <laughs> true. true. Boom! Yep, the glue glue get everything. Oh Wear a condom, brush it's your really teeth. Simple. No, I think flossing's key there. Flossing's know? huge. Being uncircumcised may protect males somewhat against some STDs, including HPV and herpes. First of all, this is forcing me to have to think too much about a dick right now. Yeah. I'm just like, okay, what does it look like? Yeah, yeah. Uncircumcised. The uncircumcised. Okay, uncircumcised. Oh. I don't know about that. Oh wait, yeah. wait, maybe. Because it goes in the little the hood. But it's a little that, jacket. But I had thought that it was easier. To keep nah, nah. clean without that extra skin. And you know, I hear that circumcision is just all religious stuff. Okay, okay, aesthetic. so let's say true then. I'm gonna say true. Let's go for true. Right. right. I'm gonna go with false. I'm also going with false. Why? Okay. What? Wait. I, I believe that. How? Because think about the physicality of an uncircumcised Again, Again back to your point. Oh my god, I've dated so many guys that have been like, yeah, if I ever have a son, I'm not gonna get him circumcised because apparently it makes your orgasms feel better. And I'm like, yeah, uh. Think about how like stuff can get in there. Sex is fun, sex is great, sex is powerful, sex creates life. It's incredible. If you do use protection, then it decreases your chances of all of these things. We gotta keep exactly. that every in time. mind. Every time. It's always better to be more informed about your sexual health. There's no downside to that. Yeah, for sure. And also, like, if this isn't a thing of, like, don't do stuff and don't have fun. Like, if you can educate yourself as much as you can, it, these things aren't avoidable, but we can lessen, like, the likelihood. At the end of the day, sex is fun, sex is great, but make sure you're safe and make sure you put yourself in safe situations. Like, scare your partner if you have to. Be like, have you heard of Shankroids? We're wearing a condom. <laughs> <laughs>